welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a rundown of all the new perfumes that have been released that I've been able to smell in the past week or so. There are so many releases out at the moment. I did two videos in September of new releases which I'll leave linked down below and now we're into October loads are coming out there'll be more i'm sure there's probably going to be another video in october um as all the brands get ready for christmas and everything that was delayed because of covid is now being released i think so lots to take you through some of these i've already done dedicated videos on so i'll leave those linked as well um but if you're new here then hi welcome we're all about perfumes here i have hundreds of other videos so do check them all out all about perfume and if you're a regular who hasn't subscribed yet then do hit that subscribe button show your support i really appreciate it and as always i will leave links down below to where you can get these in the uk us canada europe australia um if they're available in in your country um because they're new releases so i think i'll start with the new one from valentino voce viva with um lovely lady gaga as the face of the fragrance everyone's been quite excited to try this because lady gaga of course um wouldn't put her face to something if she didn't think it was pretty cool um and i have to say over Overall, I am, I would say impressed, but I'm happy with this release. I don't hate it. I do quite like it. It's a good, strong, good lasting perfume. So thankfully it would have been really weird if a Lady Gaga perfume had, was really weak. It just wouldn't have been right. Um, it's primarily a sort of vanilla and an orange blossom. I've noticed in the past year lots of orange blossom being used in new releases. I really like orange blossom. And the way I would describe this is if you were to take Ellie Saab, which is all about the orange, orange blossom, and mix it with Armani C or Olivier Bell, which has a lot of vanilla in, mix the two together, this is what you'd get. So it's got pretty florals and it has a warm vanilla as well like i said it does last and it has projection so i think this will do quite well it's quite sexy it's um definitely got character to it it would do well sort of date night nighttime bar type perfume but i think during the day it would be okay as long as you do you know sometimes vanilla isn't always appropriate for during the day but and it's up to, up to the person and I think the bottle's okay I mean it's not amazing but it's got the signature sort of studs on from Valentino and overall I think it's a good release and I think it will do well next we have a new one from Atelier Cologne called Love Osmantis so Atelier Cologne are a um, brand that make these colognes so they are not as strong as an eau de parfum you meant to spray quite a lot of them they're unisex and they have a lot of fresh citrus um, smells and this one is very much citrusy and fresh osmanthus is a fragrance note that goes really well with orangey notes uh, gucci flora is a great example of that and here we see a lemon with osmanthus so basically it smells uh, like a slightly woody lemon and then quite a lot of osmanthus. It's very fresh. It's very unisex. If you like your lemony, um, bergamotty, sort of aqua de palma type smells, then this is definitely one to try. So new release from Atelier Cologne. Next we have a new version of Eternity from Calvin Klein. This is Eternity for Women Au Fresh. Interesting, this is coming out in the autumn time. Um, I suspect maybe this was one that was delayed from spring summer due to COVID because to me this is a very light summertime smell. It's a very, very pretty smell. It has a lot of peony in, which is very fresh and uplifting in springtime. It's almost like a cherry blossom type smell. We have pear, which again is very fresh. We have a little bit of rose, a little bit of black currant, and it's just really fresh and uplifting, but incredibly light. So you're not gonna get much projection from this or lasting power. It is an eau de toilette. Oh no. I'm stand corrected. It's an eau de parfum. It performs like an eau de toilette, in my opinion. But if you like things like that, that are very pretty and delicate and um, understated, I guess, then this is a nice everyday fresh peony smell. We have a new one from Miss Brittany. This is Festive Fantasy. And I did a dedicated review from this. And I read Festive. I feel like in the UK, Festive means Christmas. 
um, like feeling festive, feeling Christmassy, but actually a lot of you pointed out that probably it means festival, <laughs> like festival. Um, so the summertime, we even have a pyramid shape here, which is like the pyramid stage at Glastonbury. Um, and basically, as it, you would expect from a Britney perfume, this is quite sweet. It has um, a lot of berries in, and I describe this as a lighter version of her Midnight Fantasy, which was that deep plum and berry scent. Again, this is that, that plummy berry, but it's a bit lighter, a bit more sugary sweet. Um, so very similar to Midnight Fantasy, in my opinion. So I like it. If you like Midnight Fantasy, I think you'll like this. Um, but perhaps not a necessary new edition from Britney. We also have the new one from Dior, their J'adore Infinissimi, uh, which is very interesting. Um, I did a dedicated video on this and it's nothing like the original J'adore, which was a very fresh, melony, lily, floral smell. This new one is deeper, it's sexier, it's darker, it's an oriental floral it's heavier and the lasting power was much better than original Jador in my opinion. So I think this will appeal to a totally different person to what original Jador appealed to. Um, but the bottle looks almost the same. If you're not super familiar with perfumes and stuff and you're not following the Jador range, I, you could easily think it was just the same one again. Um, so personally, I would have put this in a black bottle or a dark bottle, um, like a bronze or something, to show that it's very different feel to original Jador. Um, so check out the video, I did a detailed review all about the notes on this if you like your oriental heavy florals. We have two new ones from Jo Malone. So I smelled these this week in Harrods. So first they're Fig and Lotus, Jo Malone Fig and Lotus. Really nice, I got more Lotus than I got Fig. I was excited because I love Fig, um, but I would say it was like 70% Lotus, 30% Fig. Very fresh, watery, slightly green, um, springtime fresh, almost a bit aquatic feel to it. Lotus is quite an aquatic floral smell. Um, so very nice and fresh and clean. And then there is Cypress and Grapevine, and this was a very woody Cypress. This one to me felt almost unisex. This was just all about the Cypress. So if you like Cypress, then Jo Malone have a new one for you. And lastly, there is a new one from Floral Street called Arizona Bloom. And this one has some coconut in. It's also quite floral, uh, jasmine-y. It's like a coconut jasmine. It's not super coconutty. This is not like Dolce Garden or Versace Crystal Noir. But if you like your floral scents with a hint of coconut, then this is quite a fun one. Again, I feel like this was very much a summertime smell um, and probably been delayed because of COVID. Well, that's it guys. So let me know, have you tried any of these yet? Let me know which your favourite is. And let me know about any upcoming releases that you want me to review. Let me know down below in the comments as always. But that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!